What's the difference between a landing page that converts and one that doesn't? Find out coming right up. Hi, I'm Christine with Thrive Themes. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, here is your friendly reminder to do so, and if you ring the bell, you'll be notified when we publish new videos. So landing pages play a pretty important role in your business. It's where people go to sign up for a freebie and get on your email list. It's where people go to sign up for one of your webinars, or it's where people go to purchase one of your online courses or membership programs. So for these types of landing pages, it is really important to focus on conversions because more email signups, more webinar signups, and more sales is how you grow your business. So are there any special things you should pay attention to when you craft your landing pages to make sure they convert? We do have some recommendations, but I do need to caveat this with always split test your landing pages. You never really know for sure what is going to work well for your audience until you split test. Thrive Architect does come with Thrive Optimize to help you do just that. So let's dive into things to pay attention to as you create your landing pages that will hopefully increase conversions. And then I would like to share with you two new landing page features that we have in Thrive Architect. Let's dive in. The first thing you should have on your landing page is a benefit driven headline and also just generally mentioning benefits throughout the page. The lack of mentioning benefits is probably the most common conversion killer that I see when I audit landing pages. Now, benefit driven means that rather than highlighting features or catchy slogans, focus on what your audience will get out of your product. What result will they have after reading your book, taking your course, etc.? Remember, your audience came to this page because they have a very specific problem they want to solve or because they want to achieve some kind of transformation. So focusing on addressing that result or transformation helps your visitors to know that this is the right product for them. Now features, they, they are very important, but the place to mention them is in a features section. So generally speaking, if you're selling something like an ebook or an online course or a membership program, you probably wouldn't want a feature to be a main headline. So let's do a quick example. A not so great headline would probably be the best book on YouTube marketing. A better example would be get your first 1000 YouTube followers. It's specific. It mentions the result people will get, and it just sounds a lot more enticing. So to help you focus on the benefits of what you're selling, you'll notice that the pre-built landing page templates in Thrive Architect prompt you for benefits. For example, here is the lead generation template from the Omi companion theme. And here you're being prompted for a benefit driven headline. And then, there is a whole section for you to input the benefits of your product. The next thing you should have on your landing page to make sure it converts well is some kind of personal connection or humanizing element. People want to know that they're buying from someone they can trust and faceless companies just tend to seem a lot less trustworthy. And if you think about it, it makes sense. When I see a photo and a bio of someone who represents an organization, it makes me feel like there's an actual person responsible for creating the company and the product. They put effort into this product and they stand behind it. When I see a page without any indication of who's behind it, I start to wonder, you know, we're, who's, who's putting this together? Is it a scam? Is it a real company? So of course, if I'm having those feelings, I'm not going to buy from them. The buying process begins with trust. You can add that personal or humanizing element by adding a simple about section to your page with a photo and a short bio. Our sales page templates like this one from the hydrogen landing page set do come with an about section. Here it is. And if you need to add an about section to your landing page, or if you need to change to a different design, it's really easy to do. So let me delete this section here. And then to add in an about section, I'll go to add block. And then I'll look for the about blocks, and then you can simply choose a new design. Next, another element that really helps to increase conversions is testimonials. In fact, we are so convinced of how well they work that we have an entire plugin dedicated to them, which is called Thrive Ovation. Now, why are testimonials so important? Well, they can accomplish a number of things all at once. They can build trust, establish credibility, address objections, add an emotional component, model use cases, and they can make your business seem a lot more approachable. 
So if you find that your landing page isn't converting as well as you would like it to, try adding a few strategically placed testimonials and see if that helps. Now, all of the sales page templates that come with Thrive Architect have testimonials built right in, but if you're building a landing page from scratch or if you'd like to add testimonials to a lead generation page, they're really easy to add. You can use the testimonial element in Thrive Architect. Simply go to the Add Element button, then search for Testimonials. Then click and drag the testimonial element into place. Then choose from one of the many designs. Now, alternatively, you can also add a testimonials block. So let me close out of this. And to add a testimonials block, simply click on the blue plus sign to add a block, then search for the testimonials blocks and choose from one of the available designs. Now there is one more way you can add testimonials to your page, and that is by displaying your Thrive Ovation testimonials. So let me close out of this. And to display your Thrive Ovation testimonials, go to Add Element, and then look for the Display Testimonials element, which is under Thrive Integrations, and simply click and drag that into place. Then, as you can see, there are dozens of different designs to choose from. Next, to make sure that your landing page converts well, you should have an easy to spot opt-in button. It should be in plain view and it should be in fairly high contrast with the background so that it's easy to see. And the message on the button should have an enticing call to action. Now, one question people often have regarding buttons is, is there a specific button color that will increase conversions? It's actually very difficult to say because the button is a part of a larger canvas. So ultimately what you're looking for is a button that works well with your specific page design. This is something that you can easily split test using Thrive Optimize. Now in this example here, I've got a lead generation template from the Omi companion theme and the opt-in button is simple, but it's easy to read and it's a good size so that it's easy to see. Now everything is editable about this button. So the colors, the size, the radius of the corners, the shadow, you can animate it on hover and more. If you would like to quickly change the design of this button, simply click on the button, make sure that button is highlighted in the breadcrumbs, then go to the paintbrush icon in the upper left hand corner. And then under default styles, you'll see that you have dozens more button designs to choose from. Next, to make sure that your landing page converts, make sure that it looks good on tablets and mobile devices. Things to watch out for are images and forms that aren't sized properly and so they extend beyond the screen. And also watch out for margins and padding that aren't set properly so that you end up with a really skinny content area down the middle of the screen. All of the templates that come with Thrive Architect are already optimized for different screen sizes. So let's click the button at the bottom of the screen to see what this looks like on tablets. This looks pretty good. And let's also see what this looks like on mobile phones. I think this also looks really good. Now, if you need to, you can make changes to your layouts for each screen size, and you can even hide sections for certain screen sizes if necessary. So those are things to keep in mind as you create your landing pages, and they're also things to check if your landing pages aren't converting as well as you would like. Next, let's dive into two new features in Thrive Architect. The first new feature is that theme landing page sets are now available to every Thrive Architect user. That means 70 new smart landing pages and between those pages, that includes over 480 page blocks. Let me show you how to access them. So I've created a new page in WordPress and I've launched Thrive Architect. Now let's go ahead and let's choose a pre-built landing page. And here under theme landing page sets, you now have the Omi theme, quick theme and shapeshift theme landing page sets available to you. And that's in addition to the regular smart landing page sets that come with Thrive Architect. Now, if you're using Thrive Theme Builder, then selecting any landing page from any of the theme landing page sets will apply your theme color and fonts. So your page will look a little bit different from the thumbnail based on the global settings for your site. 
The second feature is that exporting landing pages now includes headers, footers, top sections, and bottom sections. So if you've created a super cool header or footer on a landing page and you want to export the entire page, your super cool header or footer is now included. But what this also means is that you now also have a way to export your globally managed theme controlled sections. For example, let's say you've created a really nice top section that you use on your blog posts and you want to use the exact same design on a different website. That's really easy to do. And I'll show you how to do that. So we are here in Thrive Theme Builder. Let's go to the templates tab and let's go to my default post. Let's select the top section. Make sure that top section is highlighted in the breadcrumbs. Then go to the top section options on the left and let's click the button to save the current design for reuse. Now let's give this a name. And let's save this to the library. Now let's create a new page. Let's go ahead and launch Thrive Architect. Now I'm going to choose a completely blank page, but you can choose any standalone page that you want. And then I'll go to the page settings and I'll turn on the header and I'll also turn on the top section. Now under the source on the left hand side, you should see my saved top sections and then you can select the section you just saved. Okay, so here is my top section and it does look a little bit different due to the dynamic elements. There's no featured image and also the name of the page is different. So let's go ahead and let's export this page. Let's go to the settings on the right hand side and let's choose export landing page and let's give this template a name and then click download file. So this will download to your local computer. Next, let's hop over to our new website where we would like to import that landing page and let's go ahead and let's create a new page. Let's go ahead and launch Thrive Architect and I'm going to create a completely blank page. And now let's go to settings on the right hand side and let's import landing page. Now we will need to upload our files. So let's go ahead and select upload files and then you can go ahead and select the file from your local computer. Once it has uploaded, you can make sure that it's selected in your media library and click import. And here we go, here is the page. Now you'll notice that the header is a little bit different. It has automatically switched over to the logo for this website. And the menu is different because it is using the main menu that I set up for this particular site. But the layout of the header is the same. And here is my imported top section. Now to make this top section available to be used on other places on this site, you will need to save it first. So let's go ahead and select this top section. Let's go ahead and click unlink. And then on the left here under top section, you can click the button to save the current design for reuse. And then you can go ahead and give it a name. And let's save this to the library. All right, so with that top section saved, you can now use it on any of the templates on this site. And you can also use this same method to import and export bottom sections and footers as well. All right, so it's time to get to work on your landing pages. I hope these tips were helpful and I hope that you'll enjoy these two new Thrive Architect features. You can get Thrive Architect and the rest of our tools when you purchase Thrive Suite. Click the link in the description to learn more. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.